Hi guys, Smithical here, and welcome to another episode of F1 2005 Career Mode. And today we're in Australia for the first round of the season, driving a Minardi. Uh, we got a contract offer from him at the end of the last episode, and hopefully we can do well in the Minardi. It's not a quick car, but you know I don't want to be driving a good car at the start of this series. And we did we did practice one, and we did a 130.4, which put us in 18th position. But we're just finding our feet around the circuit. We finished about eight tenths behind our teammate in that session, but then we beat our teammate in in practice two, and then in practice three we finished again behind our teammate. We forgot to do practice session four, and then going into qualifying, we're already on the lap now, and really I was struggling with oversteer, and I find the car's a bit sensitive when you turn in, especially in some corners like that, and that really just ruined the qualifying. And basically, we couldn't set a lap because it's one shot quality, and that's what happened. You know, when you cut the corner on this game, you get like a seven second warning, which is disappointing. Also, on this game, you do a Sunday qualifying, but if you mess up the Saturday qualifying, there's no point in the Sunday qualifying because you'll just start at the back anyway. As you've seen there, we had a poor start, really poor start, and we've lost about 100 yards to the guys ahead, so. Yeah, we've just got to try and get past the Jordan ahead of us. I believe that might... Well, I don't know who it is because you don't actually have any markers. It might be Carter Kayan. Anyway, we get past the one Jordan. Then we clonk the McLaren of Kimi Raikkonen ahead. Who also didn't do a quality lap. I don't know if it was the same issue that I had. But anyway, we're behind another Jordan. And we're going to get past him now. And you can add it. Then we're fighting with a couple of other cars. And we go a bit wide onto the grass, and we touch the McLaren of Kimi Raikkonen, and we're still in eight. Well, we've got up to 18th, and it's going to be hard to challenge the cars up ahead because, except for Fry, Zach, and my teammate, they all should be quicker than this car. But we'll give it our best shot. I think we should have, you know, I don't think we're that slow. It showed in like second practice that, you know, if we just can put laps together, then we have a good chance of getting a good result in the car. I don't think it's that far off the midfielders, but you know we've just got to push, push the car to the best of our ability. And as you can see, M Kimi Raikkonen be touching, but he was getting stuck behind our teammate Freizaka, and he's eager to get past because obviously that car don't belong there, belongs up the up the top end of the field. But we've just got to follow around Kimi Raikkonen now, and he gets a bit wide on the grass. So we've just got to try and get a little bit of slipstream, try and gain on Kimi Raikkonen. And hopefully we may be able to get past our teammate when eventually he does. But Montero was having a look and he didn't get past. But Kimi Ra I, I believe that's Raikkonen. Well, I don't know if Raikkonen got past him in that corner. But anyway, we're going to try and close up. I thought we were going to go for a move. And then we go on the grass. Braked a little bit too late. And that allowed the two Jordans to go through. So we're down to last position. But we're going to try and get past the one Jordan pretty quickly. I believe that's Carter Kane. And we're going to try and dive up the inside. And we get the move done. And on the uh, a few laps later. And we're stuck behind his teammate Montero. And we've just got to try and get past him now. Which we do. We dive up the inside. And we're going to now chase down the two guys ahead. Freizaka and Raikkonen. So let's see what we can do. We haven't really lost too much time to him, considering we went on the grass and we outbraked ourselves. So Fryzak is holding up Raikkonen quite a lot, and I think um, Raikkonen's made the move on Fryzak. Yes, he has. And you can see there, we're going to try and get the slipstream on Fryzak, and we have the inside line, and we should get the move done on our teammate. And he gives us a little clunk there, but we're up to 17th now, and then we lose the rear on lap 4 but we've got the slipstream of Kimi Raikkonen and we're gonna try and get past him and there was a car pulling to the side and that was Nick Heifeld and this is a replay and you can see him just pull off to the side and I have to avoid Kimi Raikkonen because he's going a little bit slowly as well unaware of what's happening with Heifeld and also Montero had an engine failure so that's one less Jordan to worry about and as you can see, we was meant to pit because that uh, 
Expl exclamation mark is like the thing is like the thing to tell you you gotta pit this lap, but we didn't. We missed the pits, and the tick means that like if you've had a request to the pits, it's been accepted. So they recognise that you want to go in the pits at that lap, which we are because as you can see at the top right, the fuel gauge is flashing. So we need to go into pits, and we've got to try and make it a quick pit stop. There's no change in the tyres because correct me if I'm wrong but I believe this is the season where you couldn't change tyres you only had like one set of tyres in the race so I think it's just fuel and as you can see we're holding up our teammate and that is not going to be too happy but to be honest I don't really care about my teammate you know it's just for myself you know I hate I don't want to you know sound a bit you know arrogant but oh well you know I'm worrying about my race not about my teammates and Coming to the end of the race, there was not really much happening. We was pulling a gap on the car behind Carter Kane, but we was closing to Cleon, but we just didn't have enough time to catch him and enough laps. So we come to the line, finish 15th, which to be fair ain't a bad result considering we're in a Minardi. And there you can see the top 10. Alonso won with Schumacher second and Montoya third. And we finish 15th. Only three seconds in the end behind Klein, so that was... That was a decent result to be fair, you've got to say we did a good job. And here they are, just showing that the top eight, what the points look like, and then it'll go on to the standings. So yeah, if you've enjoyed the episode, leave a like, really helps. And until next time, for the next round, I believe it's in Malaysia. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.